welcome everybody to Fifth Dimensional Academy of Higher Consciousness. How about if we follow our roots back to the very source that we come from? Okay, so if, if you just follow this thread of where you come from back and, and go back to your childhood, and then you get to a point that you don't really remember a lot of your childhood. You know, you were like two or three or four years old. And then you keep going back to the time that you were born. And then you go deeper to the time that you were in your mom's mother's womb. And then you keep following it and go deeper to where? Where were you before that? I mean, I don't remember where I was before that. So I don't even remember when I was in my mother's womb. But then I was born, okay? And I have some flashbacks of my childhood here and there little bit you know when i was four or five or six years old there's like flashbacks of it but that's it i don't remember the details of it what happened some memories of something but you know if you just go back on everybody and you just follow the trail all the way to the source then you may discover that everybody's coming from the same source. I mean, I would guarantee if you talk to 100 people, they're all going to tell you the same thing. They don't know where they were before they were born. And is there anyone who remembers where you were before you were born exactly? So anyway, so it all goes back to the same source. It all goes back into consciousness. And then out of that, we are born into this life. So what I'm pointing out to is that there is a one element which we all have in common with each other. And that element is the life force that the life force is running through each and every one of us. Do you agree? Raise your hand if you agree with me. Okay, so we have the life force running through all of us. Now, let's say somebody is a tyrant, somebody is a dictator, or somebody is a, you know, they're, they're evil an evil person and doing bad things and somebody's doing good stuff and it's a saint it's it's loving is a is a you know is a healer is a doctor it's a whatever shaman is helping people in the world and some people are damaging other people in the world they're cheating him they're killing him they're raping him and things like that but they all have one common thing and they're all having the life force running through them you agree with that so far are we on the same page yes okay cool great so it's the same life force that runs through everybody it's the same thing is that electricity when we all have electricity in our house and you're using electricity to turn on the light bulbs so you can see in your living room in your kitchen you're using the same electricity on your refrigerator you're using the same electricity for your computer or watching tv or ironing or using your blow dryer it's the same electricity now you can use the same electricity to electrify somebody so let's say that 
I've done something and the, by the state, the state of Arizona or California or whatever is decides that I shouldn't be living anymore and they're going to terminate my life with electricity. They're going to electrify me, put me on an electric chair. And through electricity, I will be, my life will be terminated. I will be killed. So now electricity is being used to kill somebody. And the same electricity is being used for using our computers for education. And the children go to school, turn on their computers, and they're learning and they're doing exercises on the computer. So it's the same electricity. So the same thing is our life, the life force is running through everybody. Now, here I am, this question comes for me, which is very valid. Uh, what's God's master plan for me? And I've asked that question many times. Uh, and I've come to this understanding by simply being here right now, being a part of existence, is this is God's master plan for me to be here. Because God or that or the spirit, the, li the living force, that, that living force that is running through each and every one of us, is running through me. 